Seth Hart from Sports Radio joining me tonight again. Seth, we have an intriguing matchup here. It's kind of a do or die situation for the Armstrong Pirates. Yeah, it always reminds me of turn four at the Kentucky Derby and down the stretch they come, Ken. And you look at Armstrong where they sit. Currently right now, sixth place in their division of the Peach Belt Conference. Now, here's where it's interesting. They're one game back of Francis Marion. They're two games back of USC Aiken. And the schedule, the strength of schedule down the stretch favors Armstrong. If they win out, they're probably going to see some postseason action, at least in tournament play. If they lose tonight, then that dream probably comes to an end. I know that in the back of the mind, he knows it's all about getting to the postseason and, and you need to win this game tonight. And you look at what Armstrong does well, what the Pirates are effective at. They're fourth in this conference in rebounding. Right. And you look at shooting, they're in the top half in shooting, Ken. So you're like, well, what gives? How does this team, how are they in the bottom three of this conference record-wise right. when they're in the top five, top six rebounding and shooting? Number one in turnovers, Ken. They turn the ball over three times more per game than any other team in this conference. Kazzy Russell, assistant coach, having fun helping steer the Pirates' ship. Kazzy Russell, phenomenal person. Ken, and when I was in the seventh grade in junior high, I was lucky enough to be a ball boy for the Fort Wayne Fury. And they brought in a coach by the name of Rick Barry. Now, when I was in the seventh grade, Ken, I grew up in the late seventh. I, you know, I remember Rick Barry playing. Right. And then I never appreciated it. Then I went home and researched him and this guy's one of the 50th greatest basketball players of all time. Kazzy Russell has been a part of maybe one of the two or three biggest moments in the history of the NBA. I just hope, and now that these guys are in college and he's speaking with college kids, I hope they appreciate the guy that they have in front of them. Oh, welcome back to the second half Armstrong State basketball tonight, the finale of the WSAB Blitz Basketball Series. Seth Harp with you. From AM 900, the ticket, along with Ken Slats. And Ken been dissecting the stats in the first half, and we're pretty much even with the exception of two things. One, dominating the glass, which is something that really doesn't affect Armstrong throughout the course of the year. Lander, 21 to 13 rebounds. Also, just horrendous three-point shooting for the Bearcats, 1 to 13 in the first half. You may mention, Coach, you look at the 10-minute mark and the fact that they shot 20 free throws, half of them in the final 10 minutes. You, you know, during different TV timeouts, stoppages, you're coming out to the officials. What, what exactly are you conveying to them? Uh, last three times, last three timeouts, you went out and spoke with them. I, I'm sure, I, consistency okay. on both ends. I thought my, my, I, I've been coaching my guys to be aggressive, to attack. And I think they're trying to do a good job of doing that and, and getting into the paint. So that's going to wrap it up here for our Blitz Basketball Series for this season, yeah. Seth. You don't get a hug, though. No, I, thanks for letting me be a part of it, man. With my time. schedule, I didn't know if I was going to get to be a part of it this year, but thanks for inviting me out. I do appreciate it. 79-75, your final lander. For Seth Harp, I'm Ken Slats. Good night from Alumni Arena in Savannah.